Oh, oh, he just gave like a Zoolander. step back and a was, Zoolander that, look. That was Blue Steel. He scared both of us. We both went, what the hell? <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, today we're going to be talking about some creepy haunted stores and restaurants. So when you're walking around a store getting your groceries or sitting in a restaurant eating your meal, the last thing you're thinking about is probably the fact that somebody died there. I mean, they might not have died in the store, but they probably died in that area years before that. So why wouldn't some stores and restaurants be haunted? Why wouldn't there be ghosts just lurking around waiting for you to get a glimpse of them? Well, today we're going to be talking about a few places in America that you would least expect to be haunted. First place we're going to talk about is Toys R Us. So Toys R Us is a toy store in America that is innocent and fun and kids love it. Well, there's one Toys R Us in Sunnyvale, California that supposedly has a ghost. In a series of hauntings in a most unlikely location, an ordinary toy store in Sunnyvale, California. This is a place in which they had lost or reportedly had lost six managers. So out of desperation, they called me and said, would you please come in because we think we have a ghost. Okay, so here's what happened. Back in the 1800s, there was a man named Martin Murphy who owned a plantation. One of Murphy's employees' names was Yanni Janssen. Now, Yanni suffered from a brain injury and a lot of people would make fun of him and call him crazy. Well, he fell in love with Murphy's daughter, Elizabeth. And then when he told her, she told him she was not interested. He found out later that she was in love with a lawyer and she was going to move away. And when she told him this, he lost his mind even more. He started to angrily chop wood and then he missed and he chopped one of his limbs and then he slowly bled to death. And the area where he died is now at Toys R Us. So ever since the day the store opened, it's been haunted. Employees have said that they've seen a man walking down the aisles and then disappear. They say things move or fall off shelves. They say that if they're stalking stuff in the middle of the night, they will hear a man calling for Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Hello? Is anybody there? Pretty much every employee that's ever worked there has said this is all true. They've lost managers, they've lost employees. One manager even said they heard the voice of a man and then water just appeared out of nowhere on the ground. So it was getting so bad and so scary that they decided to call a psychic to come and have a seance and talk to the ghost. Now during the seance, they had a camera and they were taking pictures every few seconds. Then as the psychic was talking to Yanni, the ghost, they took a picture and he appeared. These are the photographs taken that night. Now remember, Sylvia had no way of knowing what pictures the camera was taking. These two pictures were taken less than a second apart. In the first one, the aisle is empty. Then suddenly a figure appears in the second. Now you heard the photographer say he couldn't explain the pictures, but this ghost story is one to think about. And even up until today, people still talk about that place being haunted. Okay, so obviously I can't go to the Toys R Us right now because it is literally like 12 hours away from my house. So let's give it a call and maybe one of the employees will tell us if they think it's haunted. Thank you for calling Toys R Us and Baby Sarah. Hello, big Hey, I'm sorry, I hope I'm not bothering you. I'm doing a project about the hauntings in the store, and I just want to see if that's something that people still think is real or talk about. Yeah, it definitely is, but I've been myself. I've been working here for about three years now. I've worked two years of overnight, nothing happened. Really? Interesting. So people yep. people that come into the store, do they know about it or see anything? Yeah, they know about it. They find their research. They see all the articles and stuff online. But they ask about it, and I told them nothing. Oh, all right. Cool. Thank you so much. There you go. He says he doesn't see anything. Or is he covering it up? I mean, if I worked at that store, I'd probably do the same thing because you don't want to fuck up your business. But hopefully one day I'll get out to Sunnyvale and check it out for myself. Okay, so next we're going to be talking about a haunted pizza hut in New York. So there's a pizza hut in Center Reach, New York, where people say that they hear and feel a ghost. They say that when they go into the bathroom, they hear voices, they hear whispering, and they say that in the restaurant, there's different parts that are colder than others. They also say that pots and pans will fall off shelves without anybody touching them. So supposedly what happened was years ago, that used to be a Jack in the Box. And the legend says that there was a depressed man who went to the bathroom, locked the door, and shot himself in the head. 
And ever since then, his spirit has been lingering around the restaurant. Okay, so obviously this is in New York, so I really can't go there. So let's give him a call. Hi, thank you for calling Pizza Hunter Center. How can I help you? Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Um, I have a quick question. I was reading online that people think that Pizza Hut is haunted, and I just wanted to see if you had heard about that or if you think that's not true. Um, yeah, I've heard about it. Really? Wow. Have you have you seen anything or heard anything? Honestly, the only thing that really happens around here is like stuff will fall off the shelf. Really? Like you That's like you see shit yeah. fall down and like nobody was there. Yeah, yeah, nobody was there. Wow. Fuck. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Ah! Oh my god. I need to go to that fucking Pizza Hut. Bitch, get me a plane ticket right now. Oh, I didn't get her name. I'll find her. Okay, so the last place we're going to talk about really kills me because it is one of my favorite places, and that is the Haunted Walmart. So there's a Walmart in Panorama City, California, where people say they see a ghost on the third story. Employees and customers have said that things will fall off the shelves. Voices can be heard whispering in the aisles. And one evening, a manager even heard someone call his name, tap him on the back, and when he turned around, there was no one there. And one of the most haunted places in that Walmart is the elevator. So back in 1985, a 15-year-old boy named Durrell got stuck in the elevator with his two friends. They decided to crawl out of the top of the elevator, and unfortunately, it turned back on, and when it went up, it crushed him to death. Now this happened in a store called Broadway, which was there before Walmart. And this is a quote from one of the security guards that worked there. I used to work security at this Walmart. One day I was monitoring the camera system and I was watching a female subject on level one to the rear of the store. She walked into an aisle, so I switched to that camera where I could get a view of the aisle she went into. When I zoomed into the aisle, she was gone. So this person saw a woman, and some people say they see a woman and hear a woman, but it was a boy who died, so maybe there's multiple ghosts? Or maybe it's the mother of the boy, and she's there with the boy. I don't know, it's all fucking scary. Now I would just call this Walmart, but luckily for you guys and for me, it is very close to my house, so we're just gonna go. Okay, so I'm in the car. I have my friends here, Garrett and Drew. Monster. <laughs> We're gonna be my paranormal <laughs> experts. Now, you guys, do you know what you're about to walk into? The ghouls, goblins, and cheap goods. Haunted Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we are in Panorama City, uh, which is where the haunted Walmart is. I told them the story about the guy who got killed in the elevator. So we're gonna go into the Walmart, go into the elevator. We brought a Ouija board, which I'm very nervous about. I don't support the Ouija board at all. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. Okay guys, we're here at the Walmart. I'm ready to see some ghosts. Honestly, I'm already feeling really scared. This Walmart looks like it's been here since the beginning of time. Okay, we're walking in right now. I'm gonna be honest, I already feel uncomfortable here. Doesn't it feel creepy? in here already so we're gonna go up to the third floor so the third story is where supposedly the guy is haunting but the elevator is where he died oh, you're is. he's laughing but you're the one that's gonna see it what? because you're the one <laughs> that doesn't that think it's gonna happen <laughs> mm -hmm. here we go i'm ready <laughs> Supposedly, he tried to climb out of the ceiling and then the elevator turned on and squished him. Okay, wait, so we just got off the elevator because we pressed the third floor and it wouldn't take us to the third floor. So we got off on the second and now we can't find the fucking escalator to the third floor. Is there not a third floor? No, no third floor. Really? Did there used to be? There used to be. Oh, really? Okay. They got rid of the third floor. What the fuck do we do? Ghosts aren't limited to floors though. They can go through floors. Everyone knows. Okay. Yeah, he's here if he yeah. wants Okay, to here's here. what we're gonna do. Let's find an employee and ask them if this place is haunted, and if so, where? Okay, so here's the plan. The plan is we have to find an employee that is like cool enough that will tell us if this place is haunted and take us to the third floor, because we know it's there. Excuse me? Can I ask you a kind of dumb question? Has anybody ever said that this Walmart's haunted? So what's up there? Have you ever heard something like that? No. And I'm gonna third floor. She said, she said there's a third floor. No, there? she said there's a third floor. She said <laughs> our customers are not allowed up there and that she knows this place is haunted. She said it's haunted by a little girl, which is confusing because it's supposed to be a boy, but then there's also been told that there's a woman here. I'm very confused. Maybe it's haunted by multiple people. I'm into that. Okay, so you're going to go up to the third floor and you're going to film some footage. Okay, it's we're going to go way. outside and wait for you. And you, oh. keep, you no, give I us updates. Candy. to be outside. <laughs> you to be outside. Just hang out in the Walmart. I really want some peanut butter ice cream. It's what Drew'd be doing anyways. <laughs> so me and Drew had no luck finding ghosts, so we left Garrett to go do that, and he's gonna sneak around and try to get on the third floor. We decided to go to Wendy's. So what do you have here? I guess I'm gonna put whipped cream on this 
<laughs> I bought this because I thought I was gonna have hot chocolate at Cheney's. I don't know, honestly, this Wendy's is creepier than any haunted location <laughs> I've ever been in. Somebody definitely died in here. There's actually dead people in here right now. <laughs> Look who just showed up. Okay, what happened? Well, well, I could dip it in here for you if you want. I ended up walking forever to try to find a place to get in. I um, couldn't find anything and all the doors were locked. So I asked an employee if I could just go up there. And then he said, well, I don't think that can happen, but I can Snapchat myself going up there and I'll send it to you. What? what? But I said, that's not good enough. <laughs> the snap I forever? did say that, I pushed it. He gave me a taste of victory and I pushed it. And I said, I, you know, but look, here's the thing. It's just an upstairs room and I think the managers would be cool for it. So can you go ask? And then he left me waiting for like 20 minutes, right? And then I tried to get in myself. So I walked in the back room, like where they keep all the storage because another employee who I got, he told me all about the hauntings. He told me there was an elevator back there. And so when I tried to go back there though, I had tried several times at that point and then they told me the only way you're ever going to see that room is if you get hired here so give it a month or two <laughs> and uh yeah he also said and they don't want to see you back here again because they were watching me on the security cameras and then uh when i was leaving the the woman who welcomes you was not so welcoming and she said he's leaving now so what kind of footage did you get i got a few employees telling me about the hauntings Ooh, throw to that hey what's up man have you ever heard like rumors of this place being haunted no well, I mean, everybody says that, but the thing is that uh, one of the guys from overnight showed me a story that a 15-year-old did die but before one morning. A 15-year-old died? What was his name? Do people know? Uh, I'm not really sure. He showed me the, the date, but it was like a long time when he told me. That's so interesting. Listen, but it, go, it goes deeper. He said, the third floor is nothing. He said, you should hear about the fourth floor. <laughs> We were talking to an employee. I didn't film this. One employee, I said, um, is it haunted here? He goes, yeah, the fourth floor. And I said, I thought it was the third floor. He goes, no, the fourth floor. What happened on the fourth floor? The fourth floor, this guy told me that he works the overnight shift. And then it's just like super scary up there because there was a business up there where there's still their old office supplies and it's like abandoned. <gasps> Like they didn't ever move anything out, so it's like this abandoned business. Dude, up there. tweet Walmart tour, please. <laughs> Basically, should we talk about what's happening right now? <laughs> this is scarier than anything I've ever seen tonight. Well, no, but I want to do. I want to dip. This. Oh, but you, that's get some of that frosty as well. Mm -hmm. Well, there you guys go. That was us trying to get into the haunted Walmart. We didn't see anything ourselves. I definitely, and I'm not hyping this up, I definitely felt weird there. It felt weird. It felt like I was in somewhere that I shouldn't have been. I mean, Walmart? you definitely were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Walmart. No, it felt uncomfortable. It felt weird. It felt creepy. The employees all knew about it. Like, I feel like one employee said that when you start working there, they all, they tell you. Like, your bosses say this place is haunted. Is that fucking creepy? It's no good. I'm just really disappointed that I didn't get to go up there. Well, next step, Toys R Us. Are you ready to get on a plane, guys? No! Wait, I just realized that we never played with this. <laughs> I'm Wendy. <laughs> Come on. Who are we gonna contact in That's here? That's a great place because people don't do it here, so there's spirits waiting. <laughs> this is what Ouija 3 is gonna be about. <laughs> Wendy's exploitation. All right, everybody on. I'm not getting on. Okay, was this trip a waste of time? Whoa. The demons have spoken. Well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this creepy video. And if you want more creepy videos, give me a thumbs up so I know. And subscribe to my channel right down below because I make new videos every day. And if you want to see more creepy videos, I have a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. All right, you little ghosts. I will see you tomorrow. Watch your back. Oh, no. I can't do it. I'm actually going to cry. Okay, I'm going to touch it first. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't eat it. I can't do this. I can't do this. Okay. I'm gonna do this because I'm fucking bougie. Also, bougie people, what the fuck is wrong with you?